Welcome back to Vegas Aces. My name is Heather Ferris and I'll be your host for today. In this video, you're going to be discussing what casinos look for during an audition. I'm really excited about this. We have a special guest we brought on for this topic. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, put them in the comments section and I will answer it in a day or two. Give me some time. I'll try to get to it, but we will definitely answer that. Now, before we get started, I just want you to subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that we are always notified of our latest videos and live streams. If you're brand new to this channel and this is your first time here, Vegas Aces was created as a way to help people learn how to play and deal casino table games. As a way to give back to our community, we offer a free dealing trade school where we help place dealers at no cost. Vegas Aces has evolved into a marketing business that helps table game inventors bring their ideas to fruition and assist placing their new game in a casino. Now, on with the show. So I am joined with our special guest today, Benny Mancino, uh, Vice President of The Hard Rock. Thank you so, so much for being on and being here and everything. Really excited about this. Well, thank you, Heather. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be on your show and uh, you always have some great topics and uh, you know what, you're all into paying it forward and, uh, and that's, that's my gig as well. And uh, always ha happy to come on the show. Thank you. Now, today's uh, topic, again, one more time, is um, what do casinos look for in an audition, during an audition? Now, we've had several different emails um, and comments from other videos where people are always asking this question. They want the job, they'll do anything they can, uh, they can to get the job, but they don't know what casinos are looking for. So, uh, Benny, do you want to start off? What's the first thing casinos look for? So when, when you're talking auditions, you're probably talking, there's going to be two types of auditions in my world. There's going to be the, uh, you know, the uh, brand new break-in dealer who uh, is coming in for a job. And then there's going to be a uh, very experienced dealer who's coming in for a job. And uh, especially, and, and it, everything changes from jurisdiction to jurisdiction, what, what you're probably looking for, you know? So... Yeah, you know, I've worked uh, East Coast, West Coast, Las Vegas, so I, I've, I've kind of got a different uh, flavor about all these uh, different auditions I should do, right? So uh, now if I was a, a, a interviewing an audition and a, a break-in, I would look more for the person's personality to be begin with, you know, with a few uh, icebreaker questions, because I know that person's going to be extremely, extremely nervous. and. I'm not going to be looking for a whole lot of uh, uh, guest interaction and smiling and everything because they're going to be concentrating on their game. I just know that. I, I, I have to pick up, uh, I have to, uh, get that perception that they do have that customer service uh, initiative uh, in the conversation because, I, I, like I said, there's no doubt. I, I remember the first time I auditioned, uh, you know, I went to every place I didn't want to work because I didn't want to I didn't want to screw it up. And I would suggest that, too. If you go to some place you don't want to work and, and audition the first time, because you're going to you're going to you're going to be nervous. But you know what? Somebody like me, a seasoned pro is is going to know you're going to be nervous. I know you're going to make a mistake during the thing. So don't don't get carried away about that. I'm looking for you to follow procedures, even though you make a mistake, you're following the procedure, you're paying with the right hand, you're turning with the right hand. And if you do all that as a new uh, dealer, you're probably going to make it with me. I'm, I'm going to give you a chance, or at least I'm going to bring you back for a second audition. So now when we get to the experienced dealer, that's that's a different story. And it would mean a lot different in here in the Midwest versus out in Las Vegas. First thing, when I've got a real, real experienced dealer that all of a sudden needs a job, I know, uh, I know something's happened. It's just not, it's just not, normal for a person to leave the win or encore or something and show up at my doorstep at uh, you know johnny jack's casino on some side road in vegas it just isn't going to happen so i i know that there's been a problem and i look for honesty you know if, if you're you come in and you tell me some uh uh no with no other terms to say cock and bull story i'm probably not going to pass you even if you're the smoothest dice dealer i've ever seen in my life and 
there again, now let's just say there's no real cock and bull story. You know, you had something, you had a, a family member get sick, you had to go away for months. Now you're coming back, you're looking for a job and you get on the game. Now, now that I know your story is pretty good, I'm going to look for you to deal within fairly decent procedure. You know, uh, 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 an experienced dealer, of course, they're going to uh, come up with a little bit of uh, improv in their dealing styles compared to a, a, a newbie. A newbie, I would look to follow the line, uh, you know, procedure word for word. But uh, somebody who's been doing it uh, quite some time, as long as they can uh, really get around the layout and, and, you know, at least they cut checks, they don't size into the bets and uh, they make it look good. And I'm going to also look at it from a surveillance perspective, right? We all know surveillance can't uh, uh, tell depth or anything. So I need you to I need you to make this game look as good as possible for what they're trying to get from you upstairs. Very, very cool. So that is um, a good way to start this off. And I love what you were saying at the very beginning about personality, because uh, that's one of the things that I learned was you could teach anyone how to deal, but you can't teach someone how to have a good personality. And having that good personality is vital because that's what keeps players on the table. And that's what casinos want. They want to take players to be on the table for as long as possible. Well, when I started out and I broke in, you know, the, the motto was dummy up and deal. They didn't, <laughs> want, they didn't want you to talk to players because they didn't really understand, uh, you know, the math and, and time on device. And they just thought, you know, they did want to get more hands out, but there's two different type of players, right? There's some people you can make stay so long that they give us our money. And there's other people who you need to deal quickly to that'll give us our money. So there, there's two types. And, and, and if you kind of do get a hit a nice balance there, you're really going to be a make, not only make money for the casino, you're going to make money for yourself because the more hands you get out, of course, it doesn't matter if it's a casino or it's a dealer, you're, you're going to get, you know, tip more. It's just, it's just the, the math. It's all there's to it. Exactly. So before we go on to the uh, next section, where we have more content for you guys, we have a quick word from our sponsor. If you like this video and you want to help support Vegas Aces, then please remember to tip your dealer. And now you can with Super Chat. Super Chat is a way YouTube allows you to show your appreciation by tipping me any amount you want. Go ahead, give it a try, or show your support by becoming a member of our Patreon page. We have several different levels and rewards for you to choose from. Any membership level counts, even a dollar, so please go join today. Remember, if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put them in the chat, and I will go over them at the end of this video. So, Benny, before we go on to this next section, um, real quick, could you tell people, like, you have so much going on. You even have a YouTube channel and everything. Uh, where can people find you if they're interested in more information or um, all of the all of the free uh, info that you're giving out and everything on your channels? Well, I, I usually uh, stay to two uh, basic platforms, Heather, and, and I, I, I post a lot on LinkedIn, and you, you're welcome to check uh, check out my profile and some of the things I post on there. And then I have a YouTube channel uh, uh, called Be In The Know, in which I try to keep fairly well casino or, or table game specific. And we've interviewed some really uh, key players in the industry. And, uh, you know, if you've got that desire to move up, I would suggest that you follow Be In The Know, uh, sh you know, uh, share it, subscribe, uh, stop by. Uh, I've been a little uh, slow lately. I've been so busy. We're, we're getting ready to uh, open a, uh, a, a very uh, beautiful casino in northern Indiana. And I've been up uh, working uh, closely with that team trying to get that casino that show open on May 14th up and running. And there have been some exciting times with the Hard Rock. Uh, you know, we're one of the higher growth uh, casino companies out there today. And uh, anyway, and we're always looking for talent, by the way. If you want to come uh, all over, we're, we're, a, we're a worldwide company. We're in more uh, countries, I think, than uh, I believe Starbucks. I believe, I think 78 or nine are in Starbucks and 74. So anyway, you want, you want a long-term career and travel the world, Hard Rock International is uh, for you. 
Very nice. And they would go to uh, the Hard Rock website, um, scroll down to the bottom where careers are, and then uh, it would be that link. Is that correct? Right. And uh, okay. I'm at the Cincinnati, I'm based at the Cincinnati property. Uh, uh, we're always, uh, you know, most time looking for dealers for people, uh, et cetera. And uh, I, I think every casino in America right now is looking for help, but uh, uh, we'll get through that. <laughs> But in your, if you're in the area and you're looking for a job and you want to be a dealer, check it out. Go to the website and apply. And awesome. just one more word about that. Right now, uh, a limited time only, we're offering a new hire bonus that could lead to almost uh, $4,000 in the first year. So it's pretty significant. So if you're looking to make that first uh, run into dealing, we got some... Uh, we got paid training too, as well. So, uh, you know, check out the website and we'll go from there. Fantastic. Awesome. Okay. So continuing on with the content, uh, what is the second most important thing that casinos look for when, uh, interviewing or auditioning a dealer for the job? Well, I'm also going to look and see if the person's neat. And it's just amazing to me how many people, especially when I was in Las Vegas would come with, shirts that were like you know how they get like that little uh, rush colored white uh, to them and they didn't uh, you know i don't i don't expect you you know you may, maybe you're uh, a, a little short of money but it, there's everybody's got an iron or guy can find access to an iron at least take the wrinkles out of your shirt you know wipe your shoes off and uh, you know i'm going to look for that because if, if you if you don't care about yourself how are you going to care about uh, you know getting around the layout and keeping your rack and everything neat exactly yeah and are there other ways besides just looking um at their appearance which you know even as a dealer appearance is really important as a dealer you want your fingernails cut trimmed um kept you know you want your hair really nice no braids nothing like that um, but you want to have a really good presentable um appearance and everything so it would make sense that you would do that uh, on an audition are you guys really particular about the salt and peppers? No, no. Okay. No, no. But I'll tell you one thing, a, a real a secret that everyone out here should know, and maybe I shouldn't give away the secret because, uh, you know, there's there's a lot of times when we'll stick a normal, uh, one of our employees in a uh, panel or whatever, and we'll have them sit there 10 minutes before that panel starts. And the, the conversation you hear is just, Sometimes it's just amazing that somebody would say what they would say when they're in here for a job interview. And you, you're going to get caught up like that. And also, uh, you know, I'd be very wary. Uh, you know, everybody's got social media. And, and let me tell you what, the employers also check your social media. So if you're way out there and you want to post all that stuff, well, good for you. Just to understand that it may uh, inhibit your ability to get a job. Right. Public means it's public for everyone. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> um, is there anything else you want to talk about before we go on to the next section? No, I think, I think we've pretty well covered it. Okay. In that case, one more word from our sponsor. If you guys like this video and you want to help support Vegas Aces, then one of the ways you could do so is by going to Vegas-Aces.com and clicking on one of our affiliate links. When you sign up for an account through our affiliate link, our website gets a small commission. If you ever have any problems, questions, or disputes, please email me at Heather at Vegas-Aces.com because we will always be there for you. We will help you. Okay, on with the show. So welcome back. Uh, Benny, what is the third and final uh, piece of knowledge that people should know when going through an audition? Well, you know, the key thing is, is, uh, you know, a lot, lots in your words, right? If you come in and you say, hey, yo, dog, I'm ready to audition. I might, you know, I might think about uh, not hiring you. You got, you got to really be polite. Keep eye contact with the person that you're, uh, you're going to interview with and I, I think you'll have a good shot at it you know all you gotta do is have the desire if this is if this business is for you you'll have that desire and uh, you know what things are going to go your way yeah definitely 
it's basically the same thing as having a good appearance and also being friendly and sociable. And it's all about keep them, keeping the players at the table. If you um, are more conversationalist and you could speak, you know, uh, pretty well with other people and you can carry on a conversation and that type of thing, you're more likely to be successful mm -hmm. than if you're one of those people who always answer in one word answers and then you're silent for the rest of the time. Oh, yeah, I, I would definitely expect an experience dealer when they audition to, to show me, you know, show me what you got with the uh, the customer service. Like I said, I'm going to be a little more lenient on somebody who's making their their first audition of their life. But a, yes, uh, uh, an experience dealer audition, they better be out there reaching for the guest or they're, they're probably going to fail even if they're the best dealer it, it going. Maybe not now, not not, not from COVID this break. We, we are very... Very, everybody's experience of storage uh, on, on, on the casino floor. And um, with experienced dealers, not so much with inexperienced, but more with experienced, when they're doing their audition, do you look for the fact that, hey, can they deal and talk at the same time? Like, is that something that is uh, important for you guys? Oh, that, that will be so evident, you know, right off the bat. I mean, you, you, it's just like walking and chewing gum at the same time. You know, I don't know if you know about the, the great B.B. King. He could not sing and play the guitar at the same time. So anytime you hear him playing the guitar, he's not singing. So that's, uh, yeah, that's that's right. I am looking to see, and that, that would be the, the perfect storm that somebody can keep the game moving at a decent pace, but yet keep the, uh, the players engaged in the conversation. And especially dice dealers, that means engaging with the players, not the boxman, not the dealer crawl on the stick. It means the players. How often do you see that where they just totally ignore the players and talk to the boxman <laughs> for the stick? You know, I have seen that a few times in my life, Heather. Believe it or not. Never to okay. Cincinnati. <laughs> okay. And I'm so lucky I'm not in Pinocchio know. right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, Benny, this has been absolutely fantastic. I've had such a great time having you on. Um, is there anything else you want to tell our audience before we get going? And if not, uh, do you want to plug your uh, your YouTube channel and everything one more time? Yeah, I do want to say that I will be emceeing a, a pretty significant event here in, in the fall called the uh, Global Table Games Protection Conference. I, I'm not quite sure of all the uh, acronyms Richard has put in, but the Richard Marcus, who's pretty well known as the uh, uh, greatest cheat, casino cheat of all time, who's went straight, hopefully. Uh, anyway, he is putting on this great event this fall, and I, I'm lucky enough to have been chosen to MC, and I'm so excited to get back to uh, uh, actual public speaking and stuff like that. So yes, Heather, I, I'm, uh, I, I really appreciate you giving me a chance to plug that. And yes, go to Be In The Know on YouTube, Be In The Know. And you'll find my uh, YouTube channel and I hope you enjoy it. And remember to like it, subscribe to it and hit that notification bell. So that way you'll get all the notifications for all of his videos. <laughs> I'm going to give me a Patreon. I'm going to have to find me something to sell too. I don't know what I'm going to sell, but I'm going to sell something. I'm, I'm just thinking about it. And you know what? If I figure it out, I'm going to donate it all to Vegas Aces. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever you decide to sell, we will definitely like uh, uh, post about that for sure. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Thank you again so, so much. And uh, we have one more transition, one more thing, and then we'll do the end of the video. But thank you again, Benny. Really do appreciate it. And we hope to have you on again. Thank you again, Tether. Thanks. Just a quick reminder, Vegas Aces is supported by viewers like you. Donations make it possible for us to bring you all of these videos for free. If you think that this video was worth more than $0, please donate the amount you feel it's worth by clicking the link in the description below. That does it for today's show. Please join us again on our next video. We do a video every Thursday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Until then, this is Heather Ferris with Vegas Aces reminding you that education can change the world. See you later.